Hello guys, I've got a really quick question for you. Which of these two videos is running using FSR 2.0 and which of them is running natively? If you said that native was on the right and FSR was on the left, then give yourself a pat on the back, it was correct. But what about this one? Now to be clear, both videos are capped to a 60fps frame rate, so the smoothness shouldn't be different between the two videos. If you're noticing any difference in the smoothness, that most likely comes down to the way that I captured the footage, or maybe even a frame time inconsistency within the game itself. By the way, I haven't changed anything yet, and the FSR image is still on the left. Now, I want to be clear, I'm not doing this to try and prove that FSR is better than native, because there's definitely pros and cons to having FSR enabled and disabled. Obviously, being enabled, the performance can be great. By the way, it's still on the left. Rather, I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how far FSR 2.0 has come whilst having a bit of fun at the same time. It's on the right this time. That is so cool. All of the native footage in this video was captured using our Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6800 XT graphics card, whereas all of the FSR footage was captured using the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6700 XT instead. I do actually find this bit of footage quite hard to tell the difference between, but it is back to what it was at the start, and FSR is once again on the left. By the way, if you're trying to outsmart me and guess which one I'm going to put in which position, I wouldn't bother. I actually let a random number generator dictate the place of each video, so good luck with that. It's on the right this time. To be completely honest, I have to admit I was a bit of a skeptic when it came to resolution reconstruction all the way up until I saw FSR 2.0 and since then, I'm convinced that this is the future. It's once again on the right. Personally, I'm hoping to finally make the jump over to 4K when the next generation of GPUs is released. I have been a high refresh rate gamer for a very long time now. I've been playing on a 1440p 144Hz monitor for about a decade. You know, Red Dead Redemption 2's FSR implementation is fairly decent. I just had to like check like three times and it is on the left, but it was the lantern that gave it away. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. Like I've already said, I'm not trying to convince anybody that FSR is better than native. I just wanted to be able to show you guys exactly what we are dealing with when it comes to image quality. And I think you have to admit it's fairly difficult in some of these shots to be able to tell the difference. This time it was on the right. In a moment, we're going to jump into a kind of rapid fire round with pictures, but before that, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to slap that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified of our future uploads. So let's get right to it. Oh, and this was on the right. Oh, and one last thing that I almost forgot. I'm going to try and upload this video in its native quality so you can download it for yourself. Check the description down below and you should be able to see this without any YouTube degradation through low bit rates. But yeah, onto the quick side by side. And this one was on the left. Oh. 